Um, over the coming uh, days, there'll be an investigation involving kind of HMG and uh, various bodies, including Virgin Orbit, to make sure we understand what caused that technical failure. Um, and again, we'll work out what to do next following that. Um, at this stage, there's not a lot more that I can say. We don't know what caused the anomaly, and that's the data review that will be ongoing from now. Um, but we've achieved the launch. We set out to do that and create the conditions for horizontal launch at Spaceport Cornwall. Um, so lots of positive things have been achieved. Um, and yeah, and whilst it's obviously disappointing not to achieve orbit, we'll continue to press on. Launch is really important for our sector. Um, and yeah, we'll get there in the end. Is this an insured loss? Yes, yes it is. So people will recover all the loss. There's a lot of work and money that's gone into developing these satellites. Yes, it is, and that's that's up to Virgin Orbit to work through the insurance, and probably for them to comment on that. So the rocket will essentially burn up on re-entry over the ocean. Yeah, so it will probably break up. Um, not all of it will burn up, um, but certainly that's what they'll be tracking at the moment: is any debris field and making sure that that's coming down safely, away from any areas. But the trajectory that it was on shouldn't have been anywhere near that.